Thus have I heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was living in the Kuru country, where there was a town of the Kurus named Kamase, Kamasedon. There he addressed the monks thus, Monks, Venerable Sir, they replied. The Blessed One said this, Monks, this is the one-way path for the purification of beings, of surmounting of sorrow and lamentation. For the surmounting of... For the surma surmounting of sorrow and lamentation. For the passing away of pain and de dejection. For the attainment of the true way. For the realization of Nibbana. Namely, the four establishments of mindfulness. What are the four? Here, monks, a monk dwells contemplating the body in the body. Ardent, clearly comprehending and mindful. Having... Subdued longing and de dejection in regard to the world. He dwells contemplating feelings and feelings, ardent, clearly comprehending and mindful, having subdued longing and dejection in regard to the world. He dwells contemplating mind and mind, ardent, clearly comprehending and mindful, having subdued longing and dejection in regard to the world. He dwells contemplating phenomena in phenomena, ardent, clearly comprehending and mindful, having subdued longing and dejection in the world, in regard to the world. And how, monks, does a monk dwell contemplating the body in the body? Here a monk, gone to the forest, to the foot of a tree, or to an empty hut, sits down, having folded his legs crosswise, straightened his body and established mindfulness in front of him, just mindful he breathes in, mindful he breathes out. Breathing in long, he understands, I breathe in long. Or breathing out long, he understands, I breathe out long. Breathing in short, he understands, I breathe in short. Or breathing out short, he understands, I breathe out short. He trains thus, I will breathe in experiencing the whole body, he trains thus, I will breathe out experiencing the whole body. He trains thus, I will breathe in tranquilizing the bodily formation. He trains thus, I will breathe out tranquilizing the bodily formation. Just as a skilled lab worker or his apprentice, when making a long turn understands, I make a long turn, or when making a short turn understands, I make a short turn. So too, breathing in long, a monk understands, I breathe in long. He trains thus. I will breathe out tranquilizing the bodily formation. In this way, he dwells contemplating the body in the body internally, or he dwells contemplating the body in the body externally. Or he dwells contemplating the body in the body both internally and externally. Or else he dwells contemplating in the body its nature of arising or he dwells contemplating in the body its nature of vanishing, or he dwells, dwells contemplating in the body its nature of both arising and vanishing. Or else mindfulness that there is a body is simply established in him to the extent necessary for bare knowledge and repeated mindfulness. And he dwells independent, independent not clinging to anything in the world. That is how a monk dwells, contemplating the body in the body. That is enough. <clears throat> this is a very good topic about uh, developing mindfulness, awareness, and the. Uh, <clears throat> we want to um, understand the real meaning of developing mindfulness. What do we do? You know, why do we need to develop mindfulness, and what does it mean? And what kind of awareness we should we need to gain the freedom, the nibbana? You know, and uh, we talk about like. You know, mindfulness training, mindfulness training, mindfulness practicing, we need to do that. And so, but mindfulness, what does it bring to us? In Buddhist teachings, 
you know in the sense of <clears throat> in the terms of the Bud, the um, Buddhist teachings it's very really deep the developing mindfulness means in Buddhist teachings the we develop our mind to become aware of the reality of things which are internal which are considered as ourselves and things are things which are external so in that statement there's nothing which hasn't included in it you know what i mean so then when we think about the reality we need to have the ability to sense the reality see the reality to become conscious of reality to become aware of the re- of the reality of things that is what we do in buddhist teachings that's the real meaning of that term mindfulness but you cannot have it right away it has to grow towards the reality towards the understanding of reality so when we think about the understanding understand this understand that understand you know see, see this you know seeing or understanding we talk about in this teachings it it basically means what it basically means is that ability that you have to be aware of the reality as it really is there's nothing hidden you know for you so everything is in your awareness so there's nothing is hidden or nothing is out of your awareness when you have well developed awareness well developed mindfulness So when you come to have such an awareness such a mindfulness then you know the things as they really are there's no doubt in you because everything is very clear for you am i being clear so that's what we develop in buddhist teachings so then in order to develop that awareness that mindfulness to fill our mind with the awareness of reality we have to know the way that we can fill our mind with that awareness of reality in order to do that the buddha gave us the path he taught us the path he taught the way here the buddha says monks this is the this is the way this is the one way path for the purification of beings purification of our self of our mind for the surmounting of sorrow and le- lamentation <clears throat> to overcome to overcome the sorrow and lamentation for the passing away of pain and stress depression dejection for the attainment of the true way for the realization of nibbana namely the four establishments of mindfulness so there are four ways the four foundations establishments of our mindfulness that we develop the our develop our awareness based on these four ways four foundations 
So when we think about mindfulness training, you know, where where we should place our awareness focused on? You know, what do we need to do in there? So the Buddha says, monks, you need to train your mind to see, to become aware of the reality of the body. So then the, your, the body that you have is a f- one of foundation of four foundations. Because we need to have an awareness which shows us the reality of our body. Because the way we see our body is we see the body as ours, as me or as ours, as a self. That's how we see the body. But the awareness that we have regarding this body, that the present awareness, the current mindfulness, current awareness that we have, the conscious uh, knowledge about our body that we have is me, mine, myself. But that is and that is a delusion. That is the beginning, that is the root of whole mass of suffering that we have, that we go through. In order to purify ourselves, we need to delude, we need to eradicate that delusion that we have regarding the self, regarding our body. We need to develop the awareness based upon the body. So the Buddha says, if you develop your awareness, your mindfulness, based on your body, you can see the reality of your body, whether there is a self in your body or not. So there are 14 techniques in the, uh, in the first foundation, the body. The body as a first foundation. So we, you know, we practice breathing meditation. It is a one of, uh, you know, bodily meditation, body meditation that we do. Because breath is the body. When you become aware of your breath, what you, you know, what you, in, what you do in that meditation is you train your mind to be focused on your breath. And constantly, you know, you can pay attention to it. You can keep your attention focused on your body, on your breath. And you can develop that based on your body. And then you can further develop that awareness. And then when, you know, in the beginning you become aware of your body. And then you merge into the second foundation of mindfulness through that way. Through, the, through, through your breath, which is feelings. And now you become aware of feelings and then you further develop it and to see everything about you. To become aware of everything about you. So when you keep practicing this meditation, these mindfulness techniques, you are able to see everything about you. What do you consider as you and what is what is the delusion that we have in us? Then we become aware of, fully aware of this body and feelings and mind and mental objects. But the problem that we have is we are not aware of, we are not fully aware of the reality of the body or feelings or mind and uh, mental objects as they really are. The awareness that we have is very weak awareness, very limited limited consciousness. We become conscious of our body as me, as mine, as myself. That is the conscious contact that we have. You also always find a self, me, something real, something mine, something myself. Because of the delusion we have always lacking, something lack, we are lacking something which is real peace and happiness. Because we are always looking for something, but it's not there. We are trying to feel something which is not there. What is what we are trying to feel is our self. But the reality is there is no self to feel with. Feel with anything. 
That's why we cannot be satisfied with things. We need it again and again. Because there is no self to fill. Am I being clear? We need it again and again. It is just a diluted craving, diluted awareness which always wants to be aware of the same thing. As long as we do have that kind of undeveloped, weak awareness, we, st we still try to fill ourselves with, that, with the desire, but our mind cannot be satisfied easily with, you know, you, you know, cannot be satisfied with things easily because there is no self, a limited self that we can count, that can, we can measure to fill with. But that process creates, it projects, the process of the consciousness projects the awareness of self, which is not real. We always find, we always try to feel, our awareness always try to feel that, that absent space, but there's no anything like that to feel that. It is just an dilute, it is just a diluted awareness that we have. So, our craving and perception, they always change and they always continue to be looking for more, but it doesn't say enough. Why? Because there is nothing, there is no space or anything that you can fill with what you're looking for. And you need more and more and more and more and more and more. And more. Mm. What you're feeling is greed, desire, and jealousy, hatred, passion. That is what you're drawing, you know, developing in you. But when we come to see the reality of things, then we come to see that delu that's a delusion. There is no self to fill with. That's why there is, because of the deluded idea of self, we continue to suffer. But once you see the reality, when you see that there is no self to fill, everything is absent of self, everything is empty of self, that is where we are going to see the real peace of liberation, real peace and liberation. That is where we have our all the cravings are going to be quenched completely. Am I being clear? You think that there is me to feel, but how long have you been doing this? You know, people eat today and today they won't eat tomorrow and they won't eat again and again. They, 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 you know, they engage in sex today and tomorrow again and 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 again, but no fulfillment of it. What are you do? What are you feeling? You know? desires? Whose desires? No, there's no self. Who's desiring for things to feel? That you can stop whenever you can. Even drinking, that you're drinking, drinking, drinking and, you know, taking drugs and... Your problems, the main root of your problems is delusion of self that you have. Do you think that is, you have a projection of your consciousness, that your consciousness, the process of consciousness projects that self-delusion, your mind is distracted, you cannot see that reality, so you think that it's you to fill with things and then when you, you know, don't get things that you need, that you desire, that desires is look, are looking for and then but it cannot feel always you are lacking something so to feel that you want to drink you know you want to just you know find a solution for that but still the problem is there which is self so then you hand it over to somebody who is who is who you cannot see you you, you, you don't see thinking that that invisible power can heal me because you think that it's me to be healed by somebody else. Even it is not going to happen too because there is no me to be healed by somebody else. 
But there is a power that can heal. Yes. Is the power of true awareness. It only can come through you by developing that awareness. By developing meditation and mindfulness, by improving that mindfulness, that awareness. So that's why we bring the power of kindness as our higher power. We bring the power of right view as our higher power. If people understand that as an as a higher power, then they have to bring it into their actions because that is what you can consider as a self. So you, your actions are also conditional, but that is not yourself. They are conditional. You bring the reality that that powers into your actions. So that is where you can feel there is no you know you know your heart or your mind. You you think in systems. Your words. you act bodily actions so those noble qualities should be noble principles need to, we need to bring them all the noble principles into your actions mental action verbal action bodily actions to raise to yourself to serenity to sanity though there's no self that you can heal or that's why you always looking for something because you have a delusion delusion mind self that i need to feel myself but there's no self to feel the you know even though you look for everything in the world you okay, you, you cannot feel yourself but you're looking for things to self yourself you're looking for things you know ego to feel yourself you become greedy to feel yourself you become angry to feel yourself but it doesn't feel yourself because there is no self to feel with with what is existing is suffering is suffering is suffering right even though you sleep with all the women in the world you can feel your that thirst because there is no self thirsting for it it is just a conditional defilement which arises in you based on conditions as long as that has that presence as a condition in you you suffer we suffer even though you eat all the food in the world your quench is not going to your thirst is not going to quench there's only one way to purify this you know you know untie this whole mess is mindfulness and meditation practicing noble eightfold path that's what the buddha is talking about here that's mindfulness we need to develop that awareness the people say be aware of whatever you do it's not just become aware of what you do so we are on the awareness of the reality of what you are what you do of your actions and reactions and the all the results of actions and the thoughts so it should be um, you know we should be the, we should be able to develop that awareness to see the awareness that is called mindfulness develop in mindfulness to become aware the real reality of self the things are things are empty of self things are just changing all the time 